distinguished officials from South Korea. Thank you for your partnership. Thank you for your teamwork. And thank you for your friendship to the people of Fort Worth for more than 25 years. The strong partnership began in 1989 with the purchase of F-16s under the Peace Bridge Program. This made South Korea's Air Force the first foreign operator of the F-16C. Today, we continue that special bond between our two countries through the F-35 program. And we continue to build bridges. As the United States enters a dialogue with North Korea, we're hoping for a new kind of peace bridge. Establishing communication with North Korea is important, but we must be cautious. America must show our enemies that our military is the strongest and most capable in the world. To both defeat and terror, to terror our enemies, and we must show our adversaries that we will protect our friends like South Korea. Last Friday, the President signed the Omnibus Appropriations Bill into law. This concluded my defense appropriation bill that made the largest investment in our military in 15 years. This historic, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. This historic legislation will result in more planes, more ships, more soldiers, and better pay for our military. I'm thrilled that we were able to achieve this historic increase in defense spending. As a chairwoman of the Defense Appropriations Subcommittee, I fought to fund 90 new F-35s and FY18. Ninety fighters is the largest increase in the history of the F-35 program and the largest number of F-35s ever approved by Congress. I'm so proud to, to represent the outstanding women and men who build the F-35s. They come to work each day knowing they make a difference not only to Fort Worth, the state of Texas, the United States, but also the people of the Republic of Korea. Thank you.